In this video, you're going to learn part one of seduction strategy and maturity to get women chasing you. Welcome to Isaac Wilson's channel, The Evolution of Dating. In a moment, I'm going to show you seduction strategy and maturity to get women chasing you. And if you stay with me all the way, I'm going to also reveal how to avoid being the lonely perfectionist preoccupied with the ideals of dating. How do men differ in terms of sex and seduction? Men can be just as complex and difficult as women. We just pretend that we're not because we don't want to be labeled as complex or emotional. But the truth of the matter is that we can be fickle and indecisive like teenage girls. In order to mature as a seducer and overall gentleman, you need to be able to measure your emotional maturity based on your capabilities, beliefs, and what you're willing to do to get some action. This two-part series will cover the essential categories of male seducers. Use this information to see how you seduce women and if you don't like where you stand right now. You will be able to make changes to your approach to women to advance to the next category or rank. I know that many of you might not fully agree with these categories, but try to understand why these categories exist. I only wish to help you succeed in the high stakes game of seduction. So what are these categories? Rank number one, the inaction man is characterized by his glaring refusal to do anything remotely associated with seduction and thus takes no action to make things happen. Number one, he believes that attraction and chemistry should only happen naturally and nothing should be done if two people don't click. Number two, he doesn't want to initiate seduction for fear of a negative consequence. What happens if the woman all of a sudden loses interest in him, even if he's good with the conversation or physical attraction? Number three, he feels that it's up to the women to decide if sex or intimacy should happen or not. Number four, he quits easily on the first sign of rejection and he feels emotionally drained when he gets home because another complete failure. Number five, he has no idea where to meet ladies unless he meets one accidentally or if someone sets a date up for him. Number six, an action man loves waiting for a reaction, even if there was no initiating action to begin with. Number seven, an action man's best buddy is loneliness for obvious reasons. Rank number two, the emotional hobbyist. Like other hobbyists, the emotional hobbyist is only partially interested in women and he pursues them only occasionally. When the emotional hobbyist is deep in loneliness, he will try to find a partner or lover to cure his weakened soul, but he doesn't get good results most of the time. Number one, he tries to meet women but doesn't have a strategy to win over women at all. He just wants to be there when the women are there and he hopes that something, anything would happen. Number two, his main motivation is loneliness and there's a little desperation involved when he's on a date. This state of mind harms his chances of success because he becomes prone to agreeing with everything his date wants or says. Number three, due to fluctuating self-confidence and self-image issues, the emotional hobbyist is unable to project his best side to women. He becomes even more depressed when a woman doesn't find him attractive. Number four, he has moments of brilliance and he tries his best. But due to lack of a system, every encounter becomes a trial and error project. In time, he might meet a woman who just clicks with him like a Lego block, but there's no guarantee that this will happen anytime soon. Number five, he believes in getting lucky. This makes him careless because he will miss the signals from other women who don't wish to express their attraction directly. Rank number three, the lonely perfectionist. The lonely perfectionist is preoccupied with ideals, the ideal woman, the ideal date, the ideal seduction techniques, etc. His preoccupation with perfecting every little detail creates uncertainty in his mind and causes him to shy away from actually putting into practice everything he has learned so far. Number one, the lonely perfectionist outranks the inaction man and the emotional hobbyist because he's truly interested in seduction and he's doing something consistently to achieve his goal. Number two, his main weakness is his fear of being embarrassed or rejected by a woman. His primal fear may not be rooted from past experiences or a traumatic past relationship. Some guys who have no experience with seduction may be characterized as lonely perfectionists because some men who overanalyze seduction, this creates fear and anxiety about real world dates. Number three, the only way to end the lonely perfectionist conundrum is by pulling him out from the depths of his library so he can actually go on a date. Dates have to be regular and consistent to change the lonely perfectionist view of women in general. 